The ocean is the world's largest habitat, therefore it contains the most number of animal species in the world, some of which can be very dangerous. Today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the most dangerous ocean creatures in the world. Make sure you stay tuned until number 1. You're going to come face to face with the creature solely responsible for the drastic drop in the number of people going to beaches in the mid-70s. Number 10. The Flower Urchin Many of you will have come across sea urchins at some point, and some will have found out the hard way what those sharp spines are for. I certainly have. I played too much Freddy Fish when I was a kid. However, the flower urchin is in a league of its own when it comes to defensive weaponry. Described by the Guinness Book of Records as the world's most dangerous sea urchin, this is one echinoderm you don't want to be standing on. What makes this urchin so deadly is the potent venom that it is armed with. This venom contains at least two dangerous toxins. These two toxins are contractin A, a neurotoxin which causes spasms of the smooth muscles. And the second toxin is pitotoxin, a protein toxin which can cause convulsions and anaphylactic type shocks and death. The venom is delivered via the pedicellare. These are the flower-like structures that give the urchin its name. Once contact is made with the skin, the pedicellare often break off and continue pumping poison into the victim. Apparently the size of these pedicellare is directly related to the potency of the venom. The flower urchin has been responsible for a number of deaths over the years. As well as being intensely painful, the urchin's sting can result in paralysis, breathing problems, and disorientation can all contribute to drowning. Number 9. The Great Barracuda You might remember this thing from Finding Nemo. Measuring up to 6 feet in length and armed with a terrifying array of super sharp teeth, the torpedo-like barracuda is more than capable of inflicting serious injuries. There's actually only about 22 species of barracuda, but it's only the great barracuda that's been known to attack humans. The barracuda's diet consists mainly of small and medium-sized fish. It uses its lightning speed and ambush tactics to catch them. Many of the recorded attacks on humans seem to have involved shiny objects such as jewelry or even diving knives. Apparently the barracuda are attracted to these, confusing them with prey fish and strike. Such attacks can leave the victim with deep gashes, often resulting in nerve and tendon damage or, in the worst case, severing blood vessels. These injuries can require hundreds of stitches to patch up. On rare occasions, barracudas have been known to leap out of the water and cause serious injury to people in boats. One recent case in Florida left a female canoeist fighting for her life after suffering broken ribs and a punctured lung after a barracuda attack. Number 8. The Cone Snail the cone snail has been a favorite among shell collectors for centuries, but don't be fooled by its pretty appearance. These snails are indeed killers. Armed with tiny harpoons formed from modified teeth, these critters can fire a hollow barb loaded with deadly neurotoxins in any direction. The harpoon of some of the larger species of cone snail is big and powerful enough to not only penetrate human skin, but gloves or wetsuits too. A single drop of the cone snail's venom is said to be sufficient to kill 20 men, making it one of the most venomous creatures on Earth. Known as conotoxins, the poison can be highly specific, affecting only certain types of nerves. Whilst this may be of medical interest, the things can generally cause intense localized pain with the life-threatening symptoms of sometimes taking several days to present. On the other hand, rapid paralysis of the respiratory system and death can occur shortly after the sting. In fact, one species of cone snail is known locally as the cigarette snail, on account of there being just enough time to smoke one out before you die. Number 7. The Leopard Seal The Leopard Seal is actually named for its spotted coat, although it could have easily been for its fierce nature. Sitting right at the top of the Antarctic food chain, this seal is one of the biggest seals in the Southern Oceans. Measuring in at a whopping 13 feet in length and weighing up to 1,320 pounds, the Leopard Seal is a formidable predator. In addition to its size and speed, these seals are also armed with a huge mouth lined with big, pointy teeth set in a head that looks more reptile than a seal. On the leopard seal's rather diverse menu are other species of seal, seabirds, penguins, and fish. Although they're also known to seek out krill and small crustaceans out of the water too. These seals usually hunt by waiting in ambush just below the ice shelf where seals or penguins are entering the water at which point they pounce. Given that this seal is only found in the frigid waters of the far southern oceans, it doesn't come into contact with humans often at all. This makes it all the more shocking that the leopard seals have killed people. In 2003, a British scientist was less fortunate. Kirsty Brown, a 28-year-old marine biologist working with the British Antarctic Survey, was snorkeling off the Antarctic Peninsula when she was attacked by a large leopard seal. The seal dragged the poor scientist deep underwater, where she then drowned. Leopard seals are pretty fierce, actually. Number 6. 
The Stonefish. This grumpy looking fellow doesn't seem to be too happy about being the most venomous fish on the planet. Armed with a set of 13 needle sharp spines along its back, the stonefish blends into the background perfectly, just waiting for some unfortunate person to stand on it. The neurotoxic venom of the stonefish is not only dangerous, but unbelievably painful. The sting from this fish is reported to be so excruciating that victims have been said to beg for their legs to be cut off. For obvious reasons, most people get stung on the foot by stonefish. While this may just bring a new definition to pain, those unlucky enough to get stung on the body can be in big trouble. Such stings are potentially fatal with the venom causing respiratory paralysis and possibly heart failure. In serious cases, urgent medical attention is required and victims will need treating with the anti-venom. In fact, this is the second most frequently administered anti-venom in Australia and this has meant no one has died of a stonefish sting there for nearly a hundred years. But hey, I wouldn't count your blessings. Number 5. The Blue Ringed Octopus Ah, the Blue Ringed Octopus, we've had this one on quite a few of our lists here on Top 5 Best. Instantly recognizable by their iridescent blue rings, these little octopuses spend most of their time hiding in crevices or camouflaged against coral reefs of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. It is only when threatened that the Blue Ringed Octopus really lives up to its name and shows its true colors. Its skin becomes a bright yellow and the blue rings even more vivid, almost appearing to shimmer. Beautiful as this display might be, it's also a warning that this is one of the most dangerous animals in the ocean. What makes this octopus particularly dangerous is its venom. Known as tetrodotoxin, this incredibly strong neurotoxin is the same as that found in arrow poison frogs and pufferfish. At around 1200 times more potent than cyanide, it's only the slightest nick from a blue ringed octopus that can be fatal. In fact, many victims claim to not even have felt the bite itself. There is no effective anti-venom for a blue ringed octopus and the neurotoxin works by paralyzing the victim. The main danger here is that it paralyzes the lungs, causing the victim to suffocate. Swift treatment is essential in serious cases and this involves putting the victim on life support until the effects of the poison wear off and unassisted breathing is restored. If it's restored. Number 4. The Box Jellyfish Box jellyfish are a number of species that get their name from their cube-shaped bodies. Many of the box jellies have particularly venomous stings and the large sea wasp having the most powerful sting of all. Found along the northern coast of Australia and tropical Southeast Asia, the sea wasp is widely regarded as the most lethal jellyfish in the world, having caused over 60 deaths in Australia alone. The sea wasp venom is the second most powerful of any creature on Earth, with only the geographic sea cone more venomous. Estimates suggest that each animal contains enough venom to kill 60 adult humans and very few animals can cause death so rapidly. In extreme cases, death by cardiac arrest has been known to occur less than 5 minutes after being stung. The sting itself causes excruciating pain along with a burning sensation likened to being branded with a red-hot iron. Contrary to popular belief, urinating on the sting has no discernible effect and it's just plain gross. Heck, in many cases, the tentacles remain attached to the victim, and they can continue stinging even after they've left the sea, often leading to scarring. Number 3. The Sea Snake Sea snakes include a variety of species which occur mainly in tropical waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. It is believed that they evolved from land snakes in Australia and adapted to living in shallow coastal waters by developing a huge left lung, stretching the length of most of the snake's body. Being closely related to land-based cobras and crates, it's a little surprised that many sea snakes are highly venomous. In fact, what's surprising is that their venom is much more potent than their land-living cousins. The reason they're so venomous is that they eat fish. This means that they need to quickly immobilize their prey to prevent it from escaping or injuring them. Of all the species of sea snake, there is one which merits a mention. And that is the beaked sea snake. The beaked sea snake is one of the most venomous snakes on Earth. Its venom is said to be nearly eight times as strong as that of the cobra. How strong is that? Well, it says with one drop of the venom, it's able to kill three men. It's also reputed to be more aggressive than most other sea snakes. The venom of the beak sea snake contains both neurotoxins and myotoxins. While the former will kill you through respiratory paralysis, the latter breaks down muscle causing excruciating pain. Despite its attributes, there have been few fatalities caused by this snake as it's more commonly found in deeper water. Heck, most bites have actually been to fishermen while emptying their nets. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be looking at a sea creature that truly looks terrifying. 
It was sent by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo or a video online and you want to find out more about it, send it on over to us and we'll do all the work for you. Heck, if you're lucky, we might even feature it in a video. Number 2. The Death Worm The terrifying creatures that you're looking at right now are really quite formidable, with those sharp teeth lining the entirety of its mouth. In truth, it kind of looks like a cross between the legendary Mongolian Death Worm and the Graboids from the movie Tremors. Funny enough, that's actually getting another movie. I think it's like its eighth one at this point. Either way, this worm creature from hell, does it really exist? Well, not quite. Even extensive research yielded nothing about the veracity of this animal. If there's something even remotely close to this thing living in the oceans, it should be the Bobbit Worm. Bobbit Worms are huge creatures, often growing to at least 10 feet long. But their size is not observably obvious because they spend most of their time buried in the sandy ocean floor, with only a few inches of its head and body sticking out. When a tasty morsel passes by, they spring into action by grabbing the passing prey with their powerful jaws and then dragging the hapless victim under the sand where it will be leisurely devoured. Certainly a very dangerous predator for passing fish, but not quite to humans, as their choice of habitat makes sure that human encounters are less than likely. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Sharks. Of course a list of dangerous ocean creatures wouldn't be complete without sharks. Ever since the movie Jaws came out, sharks have garnered the reputation of being one of the most dangerous creatures living in the ocean. And with very good reason. Measuring up to nearly 25 feet in length and 3 tons in weight, the Great White lives up to its name. Its favorite attack tactic is to get below its prey and then head up at top speed at 35 miles per hour with mouth open, presenting its fearsome array of dagger-like teeth. And I think we know what'll happen next. Unfortunately, many surfers mistaken for seals have been attacked in this exact way. Fortunately, most of them are not fatal and the hapless victim lived to tell the terrifying story for another day. Which dangerous sea creature would you rather not encounter when going to the beach? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about terrifyingly dangerous animals? Click on any of the videos on the screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Laters!